would you guys take a look at this chart sleeved boosters are taking off now if you guys aren't familiar with the channel three weeks ago i made a video and in that video i was talking about sleeved booster packs and i said how they are a good investment and i said that they're gonna do well right okay three weeks ago was like way back here look where this is showing a 45 percent gain on evolving skies okay now uh is it only evolving skies well let's take a look the fusion strike not as much the 8.6 percent a similar spike oh is lost origin oh 24 percent increase astral radiance 10.3 chilling rain 13.4 so what exactly does this mean well, first off, I just want to clarify that um, I always try and admit when I am wrong. I've made plenty of videos saying I was wrong about something. Uh, and this is just kind of the opposite. I'm just kind of reinforcing something. Uh, I was right about this, and it just feels good when you get something right, okay? Now, the reason I bring this up is because <clears throat> so many people talk about sealed booster boxes, and rightfully so. Sealed booster box cases, and rightfully so. They're great investments. They're the best ones, arguably, that you can make. And I agree 100%. However, there's so many people out there who want to get involved with Pokemon investing or sealed collecting or just want to have some packs around, right? And especially when you have a set like Evolving Skies that the boxes are 700 bucks right now, and people aren't gonna people can't pay those prices and i'll tell you uh give you another analogy that i've seen time and time and time again and it's literally the same thing okay if you're not familiar with sports cards i'll try and make this brief but sports cards the most valuable card is the rookie card of the player right yeah sometimes there's like oh this certain rookie card is better than others but you want a rookie card like and usually the best rookie card right but there gets a point where that becomes unobtainable, right? The price of that card is unobtainable to the average person. So uh, say they're a big fan, a diehard fan, right? I, I'm guilty of this as well. I, I've done this so many times, right? Um, you can see I'm, I'm a 49ers fan, so I, I've done that with them. So the rookie cards are too expensive, Right, especially you're talking like PSA 10 rookies. You just you just want to get a solid rookie copy of one of your favorite players, right? Too expensive. What do you do next? You go to the second year, second year cards. You go, oh, well, maybe I can get a second year a second year card. Uh, in sports, a lot of times it's like a second year prism, and then you go, oh, well, maybe I can get a numbered card if it's in the second year, or and then oh, well, if it's a legendary player, you know, uh, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. Uh, you know, we we can go on and on and on on the players, but then you're going to the third year, right? Then the fourth year, okay? It happens all the time, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's good for the hobby, right? Um, otherwise, it'd be kind of pointless to even have, you know, if they only the rookie cards mattered, right? My point being is that people will go to the next best things, right? Booster boxes are too expensive. ETBs are too expensive. Just get some packs. It's also very affordable there's like this human um element of like it's kind of like making a car payment or your cell phone payment where it's so much easier just to be like oh i can i can do 50 a month here right you gotta understand this i can do 50 a month or 20 a month whatever it is you know i'm not going to shame you guys if you only do five a month or whatever it doesn't matter uh invest and collect how you want with what you want right but um if you want, or if you're trying to uh, potentially make money off this or be smart about this, you have to understand that other people do this, so they're gonna want to buy these sleeved booster packs because they're affordable. And you know what? Also, a lot of people do they chase. I'm not telling you guys to chase, okay? If you guys were, um, you know, optimally, you would have watched my video three weeks ago, and you would have been getting these at you know, 17 bucks, or I made a video even longer when there was less than that. But anyways, say you were at 17 bucks before they went up to 25. And now the median price is 28.99. And we're looking like these are going to crack 30. Okay. So, um, I just wanted to just talk about this. Um, not, you, you don't always have to make the best investment every single time. Okay. You don't. Okay. You guys do, do what you want. Do what makes you feel good. Invest and collect how you want to. Um, I'm just 
pointing out something. I I have sealed booster boxes. I have um, these these hanger packs, the sleeved packs, right? Uh, I think of not of all of these sets even, um, but you know, and like Fusion Strike. Um, I haven't checked as of today, but I think as of yesterday, this was still available. You could get these on the Pokemon Center, and I said that that's a good buy in in another video because those are at MSRP, and we're up. 8.6%. So you got to think, well, dollar-wise, you know, this is from 18 to 25 is a $7. It's not that much, but look at the percentage. What if you had put, um, you know, and, and once again, don't feel bad if you're not putting tons of money, but say you put, say you put a thousand, say you bought 5,000, you get 45% gain. So that's kind of it. I just wanted to show you guys that there are other good investments that do work out and it's proven if you follow the channel i'm not gonna hit on um i i'm big on lo i like lo a lot okay um especially at this probably like 670 still but um obviously decent little decent little run up there 24 percent um you know astral not as much chilling rain not as much i'm bigger on these three sets i think evolving skies is the best you can best you can do um, but I really like LO a lot, and then Fusion Strike, personally. So I'd probably put it in this order. Evolving, LO, Fusion. So um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I just had a shorter video today. I just kind of wanted to touch on some alternate investments that I had called in a previous video. Um, if you guys could do me a huge favor, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed and you want to be uh, up to date on, on these videos, you know, when I'm talking about some of these things, Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, and then let me know in the comments like what you guys think. Um, do you guys think that sleeve boosters are trash? Do you think they're going to be hard to offload? Um, do you collect them? Um, do you, I mean, you know, just let me know your opinion. I like getting some conversation going. Also, um, I do have a Discord available. We try and post deals on there. Um, there's not a ton of members on there currently, but we're working, we're building that up. I'm trying to get that a little bit more active. So if you guys want to join the Discord, I have the notifications enabled on my phone. So um, as long as I can get to it, I'm um, seeing everything that's going on in there. Um, I like to get some more people in there. So that would be really cool. Um, also, if you want to support the channel further, um, you don't have to, but there's a lot of links down below that you can check out uh, my eBay page. There's some Amazon stuff that doesn't cost you a penny, but if you want to support the channel, um, that would be great. I would appreciate it. And if not, no worries. I just really appreciate you guys uh, watching the videos, hanging out, commenting. Um, it really means a lot to me. I've gotten a lot of uh, kind comments over the past few weeks, and it really means a lot to me. Um, it's it can be uh, it can be hard to do daily content, but I'm doing my best to do something every single day, and I'm trying to really make sure I have long form every single day. And some days I'm doubling down with long form and shorts, and it can be tough. Um, things have been busy. Um, but I've been making it work and I appreciate you guys. It's, it's because of your guys' support. So, um, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, check out, check out your sleeve, sleeved, um, oh, real quick. Last thing. Um, there was a deal going around on Best Buy. You had to go in store, I believe, but you were able to pick up some sleeved boosters for like, I think it was $1.99, but I think they had some sword and shield. I don't remember what sets, but they were doing a price match thing, but it had to be in store. So check that out. If you're speaking of sleeve boosters, it just popped into my mind. Uh, Best Buy in store. Uh, there's some posts on Reddit about it, so if you want to check that out. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, it was never a phase.